Hello, today we have two very talented uh, people with us on the 48 Stories. We have the award winner director Alex Kawam and uh, an extremely talented actor Esteban de la Isla. Thank you. Um, together they have created an amazing film, a little masterpiece, very disturbing. Uh, with the title LAX and uh, LAX is one of our official selection for the 40A Independent Short Film Festival. Guys, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> okay, I will start with Alex. Alex, uh, tell me the story behind this movie. Well, this project was born, I believe, like uh, the story originally like a couple years ago. Because we are internationals, that we live in uh, the U.S., we currently have uh, working visas, like we're here legally. <laughs> I want to so remark. You're, you, are, you are immigrants, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, we from, uh, here. from where? Mexico. From Mexico, both. Mexico. Love yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Uh, nice. <laughs> awesome. And Mexico, actually. Mexico, Mexico has a exactly. good talent with people. I love the culture. And uh, I'm very, very impressed. And you know, somehow this story, it is very current with what is going on with the political issue uh, in the United States. It was extremely disturbing. And I want to ask you if you inspired by true facts or from uh, true stories, or it was a complete fiction. No, it's inspiring true events. Okay. Yes. So, uh, hey, give us a little bit the the story plot. Well, the story plot is a um, well. You want to say it? Or <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> it's a um, Mexican tourist that comes to the U.S. to uh, visit family, and he gets uh, held being held to the second revision. So he's being asked questions about you know do you have drugs? Uh, like he's been attack stereotypical questions for you know like latinos or mexicans because of his ethnicity exactly which it happens at the airport all the time like they see you they check you and then uh, i've been second revision he's being second yep. revision so i Several mean times. it's something that we are experiencing it's like uh, if you're a mexican it's a red flag for the that's what you try to say basically um i mean yes and no i mean i think it's it's like, um, like they pick you up, you know, like, but basically every, every time they pick you up or it depends on who is checking you. Who is checking? Also that. Also. Because checking? there is other people also. Yeah. yeah. Who, you know, they are very friendly towards the next yeah. Yeah. kind of immigrant. Actually, this country, we all immigrants, don't we? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was going to ask you, where are you from? I'm Greek in origin. So, oh, nice. nice. Perfect. <laughs> uh, so, let me ask you this. And uh, you create this movie. Uh, did you create this movie together? How how was the connection with the two of you? Yeah, we did it together. We wanted to make a, you know, very, a power, power, powerful story mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, like a social matter thing that was going on right now. And me and Stefan, we know each other since like uh, three years ago. Yeah. Years. Uh, we met here in Los Angeles and um, you know with all what was ha happening and going on the original plan was to make like some sort of PSA um, you know before the campaign uh, in the US uh -huh. so we wanted to make like a viral video but then it, it became like a really cool solid piece you know like a nice piece of art it was extremely it's it, it's a masterpiece and I have to say uh, to everybody who watches right now you have to come to the Directors Guild of America March 15 to yeah. watch our films and uh, especially LAX. It's a very disturbing film. It's a very real film and we have an amazing perform performance from Esteban. Esteban, tell me about you. How long have you pursued acting? Well, I've been, I've been acting for almost five years. I started back in Mexico. Uh, doing a feature film uh, and then I, I decided to move on and move out here to Los Angeles 
And yeah, since then I've been I've been pursuing acting, taking classes, you know. Well, how easy is to pursue an acting career in Los Angeles? Well, it's difficult. <laughs> There's a lot of actors here, a lot. And a lot of directors and a lot of writers. This is pretty for all of us. But well, because of that. Understandable. So let's go back to this project. Uh, how long, uh, let, let's talk about the uh, technical aspect. How long it took you to uh, reorganize the, the pre-production and how many days it took you for the actual shooting? Um, I mean, for scouting and pre-production and all that stuff was, I think, a couple, like two weeks. Yeah. It was fast. It wasn't... And for mm-hmm. shooting days, actually, it was only one day. Uh, it was pretty solid, to be honest. Like, uh, my director of photography, Nicholas Matthews, he's excellent. He's Amazing. Fantastic director of photography. Yes. yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the editing is fantastic. The writing is fantastic. The play is space, fantastic. The performances of all the actors are amazing, especially you as the band, you, you truly impressed me. And uh, Alex, you did a very good job. Let yeah. me ask you now this. Uh, what is uh, the first moment that you realized that your movie is one of official selection? What was the feeling back? Ooh. Well, I, I, I was actually at the beach in Mexico when I received the, the email and I, as soon as I got it, I was, I was surprised. I was like, okay, this is, this is nice. This is big. And I, I forwarded to, to Alex and Dennis, the other producer. And that is very exciting news. And I don't very know. Great. And uh, very great, Esteban. And Alex, you know that your movie is going to be screened at the Directors Guild of America, which is uh, the house of the greatest director of our times. So what an honor is that, right? Oh, amazing. Like, um, I actually wrote a post that saying that it's an honor to be screened movies where uh, Alejandro Gonzalez Iñárritu, Alfonso Cuaron, and Guillermo del Toro have screened their films. Because I, we're big fans of those yeah. guys. Uh, Sounds just, great. We are looking very forward to meet you as well. And uh, we're looking forward to meet you in person on March 15th at the Directors Guild of America. Do the very nice movie. Keep up the great work. Keep Thank up doing movie. It's so worthwhile. Thank, Thank you so much, much for joining us. <laughs> All Thank right. You so See you March 15th. See you there. Bye-bye. Thank you.